everybody, um, here's the tutorial for the um, Shabby Chic butterflies that I made. Um, Julia asked if I could show her how to do them. I didn't use a die um, and you are not going to believe how easy this is. And um, it looks, I mean here's one that I made exactly the same way with the cotton fabric that I've got and look how fabulous that looks. So with different kinds of fabrics, um, you can do this with any kind of fabric, not just the um, the bobbly one that I have. I mean, I think that looks fabulous, to be honest, that butterfly, the way that it's turned out and everything. I really do think it looks pretty. So, um, yeah, you can use any kind of fabric. Um, I'm going to use the pink fabric, um, which is the same as the green one. So, um, first of all, um, cut two pieces of fabric three inches um, wide and two inches across and then another piece of fabric three inches wide and one and a half inches across so they're sort of this one's slightly smaller but they're the same width then all you do is um, put them on top of each other I already I've already cut mine so I've got two pieces of fabric there and then all I do is literally fold it in half and then cut a curve like that around one corner and cut a curve around this corner so that it looks like that. It doesn't have to be perfect because um, the, lead, the, pe the wings on the butterfly um, you know every side to a butterfly is different so you've got one of them and then do the same on the other piece just cut around the corners just to take that that sharp edge off so just like that so you end up with that um, to start off with I have already threaded my needle with some cotton tie a knot in the end and then all you do is go for the middle round about the middle I normally fold it in half and then put my needle through so that I've roughly the middle and then all you have to do is literally just a running stitch straight up to the other side and then pull your thread and you can start seeing the top petal, the top um, petals, the top wings forming. And then where you started here, because it's a bit loose here, go in again and do another running stitch going down, straight back to where you was before. And then pull again. And you can see how it's how it's coming out and then all you do is just literally bunch it together like that and pull the cotton through and you can start seeing your big wings top wings forming and then just pull it through again and there you go, that's the top ones done. And then keep the cotton on the fabric, don't take it off. And then take the bottom ones and do exactly the same. Just a quick running stitch in. I'm sorry, it's really hard for you to see because of the, the fabric. But just go in and out and then pull it right up to the other leaves, the other pet wings like that and then straighten out where you want it and then where the cotton is start again, go in and just do another running stitch but this time go straight through the end of the first wings as well and then hold it there 
and just pull. And then you can start to see your butterfly forming. So I'll just then go through that end, the other end again. Go through the bottom wings and pull. Oh, got my bracelet. Oh, what have I done? Sorry. I've tangled my bracelet. There we go. And then pull the cotton again. So it's tight. And then just fit around with the wings. And as you can see, you can see it forming. So just put it through a couple more times just to tighten it up and then do it again, turn it over on the back a couple of stitches in and then do a knot and now you can trim your cotton and I'll just get my piece of felt ready and there is the start of your butterfly. So let me just move my camera down for you. You can adjust that because it's fabric. You can, you know, manipulate the the, pet, the wings to where you want them. So there's the butterfly. And I'm going to use my little um, blue and white roses. So, but first of all, I'm going to use some of my some of the um, the beaded trim from Carla. So I just cut it off, just so you've, it's still tacked it together. And then get your glue gun and just dab a little bit of glue and then just rest the plastic on there. Then a little more glue. And I always put the middle one on first and then the bottom one and then the top one. So there's those, that bit's done. And then turn it over. And I've made my antennas. So again, blob of glue on the back and then sit that just in there and then I've got some red felt that I'm just going to place over the top so that it's sandwiched in and then what I tend to do is just while that's still warm on the back, just give it a bit of a, a bit of a squish, and then while you're, you know, looking at it as it is like that, then you can just tidy up the wings as you want them. And there, 
There is your butterfly. Really easy, really quick, um, and so much fun to do. So give it a go, and um, be sure to show me what you make. I'd love to see um, everybody's butterflies. That'd be great. So these, these are the shabby chic ones. And there's, there's the butterflies. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, happy crafting, and take care.